Hey everyone, so I mentioned this in the other video and I thought I'll do a video on it now. So uh, my grandma got a new car, she only ever drives Cadillacs, and she got a new one. This one is a little rusty. And uh, we went down there to get the crib a few days ago and my grandpa seen that we drove the truck. And he said, oh, I thought you got rid of the truck. I told him how, you know, I'm going to be getting rid of it one of these days. And he's like, oh, I was going to see if you wanted to buy Grandma's old Cadillac. And I figured he traded it in, but they had it at a, a person's house, at, I guess a friend, you'd say, like a family friend's house. And so we got to talking, and we just kind of agreed on 500 bucks for this Cadillac. And the five, he essentially gave me the car. The 500 bucks was just to pay uh, Todd, who's the family friend, for just having it on his property for the last couple months while they were, you know, figuring it all out with their new car. So this is a 2003 Cadillac Seville. I'll just go over the outside. There's a little mark here and one down there. You guys seen the little rust here? Uh, Grandma was like, don't take it into the car wash because it'll, you know, the rust will, whatever. And I was just like, okay. Some rust here. And, uh, looks like the, um, front fender here got tweaked in a way. It's kind of sticking out a little bit. But, uh, I need to rotate the tires on it and then we'll talk about everything else. So, yeah, had to go pick it up. Grandpa put a new battery in it earlier this year. But you guys know that I was looking for a four-door car that uh, that had the seatbelt things for the kid, for the kids, I should say, um, the the anchors for Rose. So we picked this thing up, and Grandpa said, you know, it should be good. Uh, the only thing he could think of was that the air conditioner he had to recharge it every year so sam can't quite drive yet because of her c-section so her dad and i went and picked this thing up and we get home to their place which is about 30 minutes from here and he says that thing was sparking like crazy at the end was it you know what was going on so we popped the hood and before our eyes i'll show you um it was the belt that was super hot so we literally watched as this belt completely melted through and it was the air compre uh air air conditioning com compressor was seized up on us and that's what was sparking up and uh everything else. So yesterday I went to the parts store and I got a new belt that was slightly smaller. And put that on here, so now it bypassed the air conditioner, which for 500 bucks I'm not really going to complain about that, I really could care less. But it bypassed that, and uh, it seems to be running great. So then I was on my way home, and I get to town here, and I was going like 30 through town, and it just died on me once. Put it in neutral, hit, you know, all my dash lights were on, put it in neutral, started it back up, kept going, it died on me again. And then it was fine. So, through my research... Um, I looked at all my codes. One one code was uh, some sort of steering column sensor thing. Uh, mind you, the check engine light's not on, so I don't know what's going on there. But um, one's for that. There was an emissions code on there, um, which correlates to what I'm going to say in a minute. And then there's like an ABS code and... Uh, and then uh, the battery voltage being below 9 volts, which makes sense being that Grandpa put a new battery in it this year. So, with that being said, um, I did my, my research online, and these 32-valve North Stars tend to have uh, crankshaft sensors. The upper and lower ones go bad. So, um, and that's exactly the problem that I was having, was it would just die on me. Start up just fine right away, and all my dash lights are staying on, meaning that it's not the uh, there's one for the uh, like the key 
like the tumbler is goofy or something but if your dash lights turn off that's what that's all about so i went and picked up these two and today i gotta put those in and hopefully that's like our whole entire budget on this thing <laughs> but it's a four thousand pound car so even if it's a pile of junk i can bring it to the scrap yard and get probably three to four hundred dollars worth of scrap back i mean i'll start it up for you so you can hear it well here's the inside it's sls so it's i think the most there's an s i don't know there's two different models i think this is the higher class model of its day so if it may kick down real quick and i believe that's also the crank shaft uh, crank shaft sensor deals um they said that grandpa said that it had the an emission thing that had always been on and so i have to look into that doing some research i guess there's like a rubber hose that tends to go bad but 106,000 miles on it it gets really quiet once the rpms kick down it'll do it in just a second here And it also seemed to maybe have, there she goes, seemed to maybe have a misfire, but they said that's caused, it was like intermittent, so they said that's caused by that crankcase sensor thing too. So, yeah, she runs and drives real nice. Hopefully I have good luck with it. My grandparents owned it since 2005, and it was my grandma's car. She's the one that always drove it, so I don't think it's been beat on crazy or nothing like that. If I if this sensor fixes it, I plan on uh, chopping off the exhaust and doing a straight pipe because these things sound awesome that way. We got these huge mufflers on here. It has some sooty water that's coming out, but these huge mufflers has like a Y pipe, so I'm just gonna cut it off and run it right back out to the dual, the two tip things but yeah that's essentially it I got to back it up here and put the ramps out so I'll show you guys that but she seems to run nice nice and smooth it just has like a weird it'll kick down real hard I have to figure out how to get it to not lock all the time. The radio is awesome. Um, sounds really good. Yeah, it seems to run good. I was hoping it would do that thing where it kicks down for you guys, but ugh. yeah, still got the red car. Still th have the truck for sale. Yeah, so I gotta dig those ramps out. But anyways, that's the uh, the lowdown on this Cadillac. It needs the sensors put in and then I want to do uh, it needs two bulbs, one for each fog light and then one on the rear license plate light is burnt out so hopefully that's the extent of it. Anyways, yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you later.